In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the yield of maturity on a zero coupon bond. So the yield of maturity is the rate of return that you would get if you purchased a bond at its current price and then held the bond to maturity. So for example, and now we're of course talking about zero coupon bonds in this example, let's say that you bought a bond for $95,238 and the face value of the bond was 100000 so because it's a zero coupon bond that we're talking about, there's not going to be any periodic interest payments or anything like that. It's just a simple one-year bond where you say, okay, today I pay $95,238, and a year from now I get $100,000 returned to me. So that difference between the $100,000 and the $95,238, you could just think of that as the interest that you've, that you've earned on that investment, right? So now we want to say, okay, well, what rate of return is that, right? If, if you buy it for this price and you get this a year later, what was your rate of return on that investment? So we can just go ahead and calculate it out. We can just use some really simple algebra. For example, if we took, say, our, our $95,000, 238 that we paid, or this is our price, right? And then if we multiply that by one plus the yield to maturity, or that rate of return, one plus the rate of return times what we've invested, think of the price as our investment, and that's supposed to equal $100,000, right? In terms of what we've just set up here right that should equal a hundred thousand dollars and that'll yield or well give us our yield to maturity right so this this is basically saying look we take the investment we multiply it by one plus the rate of return and that's going to give us what we get which is a hundred thousand so we're trying to solve for the yield so now you can go ahead and just divide a hundred thousand by ninety five thousand two thirty eight Right, so we're just dividing each side. We're just doing simple math here. And so that'll give us one plus the yield to maturity is going to be equal to um, 1.05. Now I've, I've done some rounding here. So if it's not exactly precise, forgive me. But we basically just divided each side by 95,238. And so now we've got this one plus the yield is 1.05. And so we just subtract one from each side, and now we have our yield is going to be 0 0.05, or we can just think of that as a percentage. We can think of that as, as 5%. So what does this mean? This means that the rate of return, if we were to buy a bond today for $95,238, it didn't have any periodic interest payments, anything like that. It's just a one-year bond. So a year from now, we get $100,000 back. We earned a rate of return of 5%. That's all that's saying. So now you might ask, well, what, okay, this is a simple example. We just got one year here, but what if we had multiple periods? What if we had a zero coupon bond that was like two years, three years, four years, five? How do we go about calculating it? So we've got a really nice formula, and I'll just show it to you. Let's just say that we had a three-year bond. Let's say that we have the same things as, as above, where it's a $100,000 face value. We're going to pay $95,238, but this time we're not going to get that $100,000 face value until three years later. It's a three-year bond instead of a one-year bond. So now I just want to show you this formula will give us the result and give us our yield every time, and no matter how many periods there are. So we have n, n is going to be 3. n is just the number of periods, right? So I've got, see this n here? That's the number of periods. And then fv, that's the face value. That's going to be the 100,000. Let me, let me actually just start plugging in some of these numbers here, and I'll, I'll change up colors and make it a little interesting. So our yield of maturity is going to be equal to, and then this will be in parentheses, we'll have the face value of 100,000. And then that's going to be divided by the price, 95238 And then we're going to take that and raise it to a power, right? All this in here in the parentheses, we're going to raise to a power. We're going to raise it to the 1 over n power, which is, in this case, 3. Right? So we're just going to raise it to the 1 third power. And then we're going to, after we've, after we've got this whole thing here, we've calculated that, we're going to subtract out 1. So... Let's scroll down. So 
what are we going to end up with here I'll just I'll just go ahead and skip right to the chase we're going to end up with 0 0.016 right so if we're going to and we can think about that in terms of a percentage 1.6% so when you put that into your calculator if it doesn't come out exactly uh, like this I apologize I just did a little bit of rounding but bottom line is that we just use our formula here we've got n is the number of periods so this let's say this was a seven year zero coupon bond then we would raise this thing here to the one seventh power right so that's where the n comes in and then we just have the face value of the bond in our case it was a hundred thousand the price of the bond right and so you just plug in those numbers and it just very simply gives you the yield to maturity which we've been also just referring to as the yield and so the yield of this three-year zero coupon bond is going to be 1.6%.